Hey guys, this is Oppa with Oppa Talks, and I have an amazing video that I'd like to share with you today. I want to thank a YouTuber by the name of Matt Given, who has 265 subscribers as of today because I just subscribed to him. He brought up a really amazing theory and uh, his thoughts on how the Roman dodecahedron could have been used in the past. Stick around while we have some fun. Hey guys, so as you know, if you've seen previous videos of mine from way back when, um, pre-war, and I still heavily support Ukraine, any any support and love you want to send, please send it their way. Uh, Rick's channel is an amazing place to go. Links in the description and below. I want to thank a YouTuber by the name of Matt Given. He has a really great theory on what the Roman dodecahedron was used for. Links to his really great video theory and thoughts are below. I'm going to kind of break down my understanding of his theory. So let's go ahead and assume, let's pretend we are a Roman general in our comfort of office and we need to send a immediate message to the front line so that they know what they need to do and they're expecting the order tonight so that they can have their orders tomorrow, right? That kind of thing. Uh, you're not too far away from the front lines. You're probably in a tent kind of thing, whatnot. But you need a message quick, easy to read, and to understand. Imagine you have a whole bunch of dowels that are that are encoded with uh, with keys, right? And these dowels are all of different sizes, and they're of different fits, and they have different codes on them, that kind of thing. The Roman dodecahedron is famous because it is known to have, uh, well, when you examine the dodecahedron, no two of the same have been found alike, so that puts a little bit of question into this theory, but still valid as it is, because if you think about the technology, uh, during wartime, any kind of encryption communications would have been top secret in today's world, or at least in World War II, if you were about to get overrun by the enemy, the decision would just destroy the equipment, destroy the codes, all that kind of thing. So it doesn't, it's not too far off of a theory, but imagine you've had a, plenty of these all of these have different sized dowels or different size holes that might fit a Roman dodecahedron. Here's a beautiful master encryption, decryption, decoder key, if we want to call it that, with this theory. And we can assume this is the, the, uh, the general's copy. A master craftsman would have made these maybe in pairs to be identical including sets of dowels, and I've only made one because this is a proof of concept theory and I made it right after watching his video which was released about two weeks ago. Um, but the concept is good because I found a perfect size, quick to easy make dowel that would fit only one hole specifically out of the entire thing. Now some might look like they fit, but they're not perfect fits, you see, and I'll show you what that means later. But yeah, same goes with the top side, so it's easy to find out which one it is. And if you see, it fits really nicely in this one. So if I pull it out, we do see I've marked it with the initial starting of seed. Because with encryption, why not add a seed just in case the decoder wheels are by chance fallen into enemy hands. So this means two things for the enemy. Not only do they have to have the decoder encryption key copy in, uh, wherever the message was made from, but they also need to have the very important set of encryption keys, uh, for lack of better words, as well as the seed. And what I mean by seed is we have a wheel that turns. We can set the seed to whatever we want while we decrypt, right? So I have this, currently I have the seed, the nice little Star Trek emblem right there. So. If we examine this decoder key fits only one hole and I have them line up so that they fit perfectly as well as knowing it's the right size decoder key or decoder key yeah or encryption key fits in the holes now um, Matt made his out of wood uh, very beautifully well done he even has how they may have encrypted the message in transit which is um, a great theory. I suggest you check out how they would have done that part. But we're going to put into practice how this might have worked. So now that we have the decoder key in question, we know which one is the right fit. 
in the master copy, right, we're going to go ahead and create a message using what we already have um, pre-planned pre here. Now, I could, set the, I could set a seed, but for simplicity's sake, I'm going to leave the seed the same because it's already pretty complex. The pattern of wheel is, of course, the, um, the, the alphabet that I'm familiar with the most. And then in the insertal, internal wheel, we have the same alphabet with a couple of letters off-site, but it'll be easy enough to understand. Uh, I'll put more effort into this, and I can make it really beautiful. Uh, but yeah, randomized letters, so it's really a true code. And then if we wanted to set a seed, we could. So I have the message as attack on attack at dawn. Okay, so I'll just basically line up the message together and encode it for our um, for our Roman centurion commanders up at the front. So attack is going to be the letter H. Okay, and then T, let's see, where is T? Do, 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 do. T is going to be the letter X twice. And then, of course, H again. And then C will be V. And then K is B. So we have attack. And then H, X. And then D, C, and then H, and then W, where's W? Way over here, that's going to be the letter E, and then the letter N is O. So now we have our encrypted message for our Satyrian commander right there. We'll encode it in the way that in Matt's channel he suggested, which is really elegant using wax. And now, let's cut over to the front lines of a Roman soldier who might be needing to decode this in a pinch. I'll be with you in a second. This is Oppo with Oppo Talks. All right, now we're back to the front lines where the Roman soldiers are, and this is the commander who's just received the important note that was transcribed from the general up at the top. He's got it in his hand and ready to decrypt. The noise you hear in the background are really not lawnmower noises, but the battle of war just going on from humans fighting each other. It's horrible, it's crazy, but the commander needs to know what has to be done in the morning. He also has, he also has an equally impressive decoder key of his own that he can use. And I've pre-marked where we're where it already is because you can imagine how many decoder keys could be possible for what he might have. Equally impressive, he will have as many holes as there are on a Rome decahedron with the various sizes, different keys that will fit, that were pre-custom when the original was made. And so what the soldier will do is once he grabs his code and he, he's able to read what the encrypted message is, he doesn't know what that says is, so he'll have to figure out what the seed is. He'll have to figure out which um, wheel or whatever method is that is actually employing with this. And eventually he'll come to the right one where he'll find, hey, this one fits. Let's make sure, because, because it fits there, it might also fit in another one. Like this one seems like it might fit. But we want to make sure it fits perfectly like that. And... We'll assume the dowel was made with a perfect stop as well, just for confirmation we got the right hole. So we'll see it perfectly fit, exactly where we want it to go. So we know now this is the correct decoder key. We've checked there is no seed indicated here, so we'll keep the seed at the original mark, and the Roman commander will then begin decrypting his important message for what he needs to know to do in the morning. So we have H. H is, got his little wax thing here, A. We got X, so where is X? Uh, do, 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 X is, do, 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 we're looking for X. We got X equal T, we got two T's. In fact, we got lots of H's. We're a smart commander, so we already know the keys are the same, right? 
and then we got uh, we got another H down here and then we have a V where can we find our V we're looking we see a C equals V okay we've got no other V's we got a B where can we find B there's a B there's a K equals K okay got an E can we find the letter E in our encryption key we do we got it as a W uh, we got a C. C is a V. Oh, no, no. C is D. Oops. And then O. Where can we find the letter O? Do, 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 N. So our message decrypted is attack at dawn. Commander has his orders. He knows what's to do. He can now destroy the decoder key if he wants or... I guess reset the seed to something else. No, no, better yet, destroy the message. Reset the do decoder key seed to wherever you need it. Just so that if it falls into enemy hands or this was recorded in flight, it has an extra layer of encryption to it. Again, I want to thank the, uh, the YouTuber that I mentioned earlier. His link in the description is already below. Slava Ukraine.